Hey, it's great to be with you again today, and um, we have to make decisions all the time, don't we? I mean, every day we make decisions. Should I fill the car up with gas today, or can I wait one more day and milk a couple more drops out of it? Um, what's for dinner tonight, honey? I don't know. What What do you want for dinner? I don't know. Uh, right? Have you ever been there? Yeah. The decision to make dinner is real. Um other decisions, right? What job am I going to pursue? What college will I go to? Who will I marry? Will I get married? Do I want to get married? Kids? Uh, question mark, right? Are we going to have kids? Uh, where uh, are we going to live? I mean, what, right? There's decision after decision after decision. And some are huge decisions and some are minor, right? Like huge decision. What are we eating for dinner tonight? Big, big decision. Am I ever going to get married? What job will I have? What do I believe? Right? And and we ha have to face these decisions every day. And then you go back into scriptures and you look at guys who had to make decisions. There, you know, Moses, uh, he hears God's voice. Uh, Moses, uh, I am, uh, go and free my people. <laughs> and he could... I mean, he's like, nope, got the wrong guy. And he could have turned and gone the other way. But he made the decision to follow where God would lead him. Uh, David, many times, could have turned and walked away. Saul's trying to kill him. He could have run for the hills and never come back. But he remained true to God and followed his lead. Then there was Peter, right, who denies Jesus three times. Tough decision to deny Jesus. And then he comes back around and redeems himself, right? And he becomes the rock, the one that the church is built on in Jerusalem. We all have the same type of decision to make. Will I follow Jesus as my Savior? Will I decide to be a Christian and a disciple and live my life following Jesus, loving others, love God with all my heart, soul, mind, and strength, love my neighbor as I love myself? Will I follow Jesus' lead? Or will I do what I want to do? Will I live a life that is self-promoting and self-centered? Will I get everything like the world teaches and uh, have it all for myself? He who dies with the most money wins uh, with the most toys. Yay! Right? Or, or do we turn ourselves upside down like Jesus did? Where a servant is the one that takes care of everyone. The least shall be first, the first shall be last. Uh, you know, that upside down kingdom of Jesus. And we have to make that decision. Will we follow Jesus and turn our lives upside down? Or will we live a life that the world teaches us to live? The decision is ours. May God continue to pour out his grace, mercy, and blessings on each and every one of us until we get to meet again. Amen. Amen.